Hi, my name is Richard Trent. Last time I had my video, I showed you a code reader for under $50. And it basically has a very limited function. It shows how to get the code, how to erase the code. But basically, if you want to do something about it, there's not much you can do. So what I was uh, telling you was to get a better code reader. And for under $200 US, you can do that. I got one here from Calgary and I paid 140 uh, Canadian uh, dollars on this. And this is ideal for doing quick troubleshooting. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to, uh, to troubleshoot using this uh, code reader. So let me go to live data. View data. Complete data set. There you go. Now these are the uh, functions that is happening inside your engine while it is being managed by your computer. And for the purposes of this uh, video, I'm going to show you uh, the short fuel trim uh, feature, which is uh, shown in percentage. And uh, the only thing you need to know about this is during uh, uh, the fuel injection, the, the job of your computer is to manage the mixture so that you got 14.7 ratio air and fuel ratio and whenever uh, it is not under that uh, efficiency then the computer will try to compensate either it adds fuel or it it uh, removes fuel to keep that efficiency and they call it in two ways short term and long term. Long term happens when the engine has warm up. They call that closed loop. When the engine has already warm up. That means uh, when the engine is cold not all sensors are working. Now the only thing to remember about short term fuel uh, ratio and even long term fuel ratio or fuel trim is 10%. It's plus 10% or minus 10%. If you are within that range, your engine is okay. Now, if, if, if it goes above that, like minus 20 or minus 40 or plus 40 or plus 20, then there's something wrong with your fuel. Then you start checking your fuel injector, your fuel pump, etc., etc. So, okay, so I gonna go to the long term. As you can see here, it's fluctuating on the same rate as the uh, the short term, three percent, okay, and two point three, three point one, uh, three point one, and if I can, I and I can show you the graph, uh, how it is being uh, done, and that's what it is, but. This one, the highest it will go is 3.1, and we are still safe because I told you, as long as you don't pass 10%, you're fine, okay? So, the next one I'm going to show you is uh, MAP sensor, RPM. Look at the RPM. The engine is now idling, and your RPM is fluctuating, 648, 661. And the rule of the thumb is as long as the idle RPM is, is going between 650 to, I think, 800, the engine is fine. Okay? The next one, let's see, is Spark Advance. This is the one I want to discuss with you. Uh, in, in my ATS course, I told you that the uh, idle uh, Spark Advance of your ignition timing is bit is around 15 degrees to 20 degrees sometimes you can go higher than 25 and you can see here it goes 20, 12, 20, 18, 25, 26 
So it's around that range, and it's because this engine is fine. There's not, there's no, there's no problem with this engine. So let's see what happened if I rev the RPM up. Look what happened with the timing. Okay, went up to about 47. On average, it should go to around 45 degrees. And that's about ideal for a spark advance. So that tells me that the computer is managing and controlling the, the ignition timing of the engine. So we just check the fuel trim is fine. Then we check the uh, ignition is fine. The last one I'm going to show you is oxygen sensor. Okay. Take a look here. Okay. Now, in my course, I told you also that the oxygen sensor voltage is fluctuating. And it's fluctuating between 0.1 to 0.9, which is about normal. Okay, so let's see the graph on this. There you go. You see that? 0.07 which is roughly almost 0.1 and then 0.73 this is a little bit down but actually the 0.9 depends on the type of engine you have this one I have it on Ford and it also depends on what model of the year okay so the next one I'm gonna show you it says there a one the, the uh, if you look at the at the oxygen sensor the last number then one means bank one okay so if we go to bank two where's that okay that one take a look there you go you see the 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 fluctuation it's pretty close it's between 0.85 to 0.87 now I don't know what's uh, why it is close like that but it's probably like remember there's two types of sensor one manage your engine the second one manage your catalytic converter now they don't have the same reading the other one the fluctuation is only small so maybe this is for the catalytic converter but these are the features that can help you for, for paying a, a code reader under two hundred dollars there's a big chance you can fix your your uh, your engine yourself okay